the title of this video is Empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand uh, someone else's feelings. And I feel like that's played uh, kind of a major role in the past couple months of my life. Um, right here I have uh, empty bottles of uh, pills I was taking to treat my bipolar depression. Um, a lot of that uh, I've been living with for my entire life. Uh, it comes with a lot of physical pain, trouble sleeping, uh, obviously the, the depression, and um, you know, feelings of isolation, and I was having some trouble with uh, my family, especially in the past year or so. Uh, things kind of uh, escalated to a point where my brother and sister, who I still care about, um, decided to start doing drugs and uh, partying in our home and I ended up calling the cops because of their lack of any kind of empathy because they didn't realize the situation where you know other people lived in the house and what their needs were and they just didn't seem to do anything about that you know um, but you know they didn't get into any kind of serious trouble they just got you know a slap on the wrist and scared a little bit which I you know it's for their own good um, but after those events um, I couldn't live at home anymore I moved up to Grand Rapids after taking together my tax return and maxing out my credit cards in order to be here uh, I was looking for a job as a video editor in a TV station which didn't pan out so I went back to working in factories which I've been doing for uh, the past couple years and uh, in the meantime looking for other opportunities um, well I, I met some burlesque groups and uh, wanted to join that and uh, you know be a live entertainer MC uh, didn't pan out really except for uh, one opportunity I got to MC and of course for free but I was happy to do it um, and then ultimately I was in a play which led to a set of circumstances um, linked to my depression one and uh, the, the play causing me to be in a car accident um, the car accident not really directly related to the depression but um, the car accident was pretty much directly linked to me being in the play uh, because I had to navigate the city and it was uh, not you know no one was hurt in the accident but uh, it was very expensive to get out of and I ended up having to pay to refuel the rental to drop it off obviously and I ran out of money for gas when I got my car back to get to work and back so I tried to get uh, you know some gas money from somebody that I knew who was working on the play with me you know it's fine if you don't want to loan somebody some gas money but their reaction was pretty bizarre and very harsh towards me and again uh, it was a lack of empathy so uh, they decided not to have me in the play anymore which you know when you're doing something for free and you're giving your time, isn't doesn't that seem bizarre? They're like, oh, you can't give us your time anymore, and you can't be here for free anymore. But, uh, so yeah, that very bizarre reaction. Um, in the end, I, I just didn't know anyone who could give me gas money in time to help me save my job that I had. So uh, I ended up being terminated because of the attendance problem that that caused and so um, 
that's when I kind of uh, lost control of the situation that I'm in because I had to take any job that I could find. Um, ended up working for almost minimum wage at a Jimmy John's. Uh, but I had an opportunity to audition for a movie. It sounded just wonderful because it was a science fiction movie. Um, a lot of good, interesting characters. Uh, you know, they, they were just saying the script was so good that they were going to get, you know, some celebrities in. And, um, so yeah, everything seemed really great. Um, and then uh, I talked with the director on the phone a couple times, and it ends up that he couldn't raise the money to make the movie just yet, so I thought I could wait. I thought I could work the minimum wage job, but, uh, you know, it's been way past what he said the deadline was, and it's you know, past any of my finances, you know, my tenuous hold on anything that I could do. Uh, so, I mean, I didn't make enough money to stay in my car. So, uh, it got impounded, which cost me the job delivering sandwiches. You know, they're pretty hand in glove. So, I'm unemployed. Uh, pretty much alone and I have to deal with you know my depression and uh, this depressed economy and one of my just bare minimum things that I could do uh, got food stamps taken care of uh, but I can get unemployment because I've been working too many different jobs in the past six months, uh, a total of three, that I could, you know, record just like that. Anything that anything else was like acting and plays and all that other stuff, which uh, I wasn't getting paid for. Um, so I just started uh, busking on the streets for some money. Uh, I've only ever done that once before and that's when I was in college in New York City uh, during the whole Occupy New York thing which again it's just it's always been a problem for me. Um, but what ended up well, um, if I don't come up with some sort of a solution, then I'm going to be evicted and basically homeless. Now, I, uh, I'm scared, but I'm just surprised, too, that you know, I I tried, and uh, that all the hard work that I've done in the past couple months, especially, hasn't uh, hasn't worked out for me. So I'm trying to elicit a feeling of sympathy and empathy from people again because you know I've I've tried every avenue that's available to me and uh, put in my 100% and it just didn't work so I'm trying to get this video online to get people to see it and uh, spread it throughout YouTube so it can generate an income but I don't think that I can rely on this video going viral and creating enough revenue for me to be able to avoid being evicted. So um, I'm also setting up a donation link. If uh, anyone can help me in this rough patch of my life, 
maybe I can still wait for the audition to happen. Maybe I can still be in a film here in the next couple months, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, of course, applying for other work, uh, but it's, you know, transportation is an issue. There was one job that uh, I had all lined up, uh, but it's, you know, it's too far to travel to easily without, you know, at least getting some money together for public transportation. And uh, if I could at least get that job, then uh, I should be, be able to get back up on my feet. But, you know, as of right now, at the end of August, I'll, without any change happening, I'll be evicted. And it's just, really, I don't even want to be here in this house. Uh, you know, I would, I would absolutely love to move out because uh, when I first got here, there was a problem with bed bugs. Um, and of course, uh, I'm in this damp basement and I've had to throw away clothes because of mold. And uh, now, it seems like the entire house is just filled with fleas. Uh, from the four cats, uh, male cats too, so there's the smell. Um, and normally I am a cat person, but, you know, you don't put, like, four male cats in the same house. Uh, and my roommates are all, like, uh, old hermit-type shut-ins, mostly, and I have to deal with things like some pretty horrible cooking and uh there was there used to be a couple here um where the guy would uh fight and abuse his pregnant girlfriend and you know this this place is really not any better than the home that I left but I chose to come up to uh where I am living right now to be a stone's throw away from my other relatives and uh, more filming opportunities, whether that's uh, Toronto or uh, Detroit or just or this area in general is starting to become more of a thing in uh, filming because like I said, I, I lined up an opportunity to be in a movie, but um, the budget for that movie was $500,000 I think, and uh, I don't know how close the director ever came to raising that money, but, um, you know, obviously, like, uh, from what this, uh, what the description of, like, how long the shoot would take, for me, my, what I anticipated earning from making that movie was about $3,000, so that would have helped me out with some of my immediate problems and allowed me to keep working, um, about the same time that I lost my car, uh, pretty much directly because of the play, uh, my cousin from California called, and uh, I don't want to say that he lied to me or anything. I think his heart was in the right place, but he offered to assist me, but never came through. In the end, you know, if he didn't help me, then nobody else did. Then I lost that job, so. What I've been trying to do uh, also is uh, just do other things like, uh, you know, try to line up more shows for myself in uh, like stand-up comedy acts and, uh, and recently, uh, with the late Robin Williams passing, it just it just paints a negative image again, and I I have my own struggle with depression. So that's just that's just really all I have to say. Spread this video to your friends and uh, family anyone who's going through a rough time, or anyone who you think could help, and, uh, 
I'll see you on the other side.